back. I'm um, doing a review on the AN94 today. Uh, now to start off, the AN94, I've been using it, and it really isn't that great. Um, as you can see, the spread is huge on this gun, which is um, one of the downfalls of it. The recoil is also pretty intense. Uh, I'll show you right now, actually. Um, let me just... So, this is a uh, recoil um, and spread, not scoped in. So right there, that's pretty intense. Um, now this is recoil, uh, scoped in. Uh, isn't that bad. It goes like, zigzag, but you can still tap this gun. It just takes a while to. So, um, yeah, that's one of the downsides. So. Now, anyways, um, I'm going to get into the stats of the gun now. The AE-94 is a 3-shot kill to the front, 2 to the back, 2 to the nuts, and oh, 1 to the man. face. Uh, oh man! And clowns. Wow, can't even hit the guy. Anyways, um, like I said, 3-hit three, th uh, three hit kill to the front, 2 to the back, oh, and 2 to the nuts, hole. 1 to the face, of course. Oh, I found the hole! And, um, I found the hole. it also has a 48 point power, oh, which is really nice, too. Oh. Now, onto portability. Oh, portability on the A94 is 55, which is pretty heavy for an AR. It's it's average, but it's heavy at the same time, if you know what I mean. And uh, some guy sniped me, and I'm doing terrible now, because of leg. Now on to the rate of fire. The rate of fire on the A94 is 70, um, so it wow. is faster than the A96E. Um, however, the spread can get out of hand faster. Well, the spread is actually like an AK-47, but since the A94 has more uh, fire rate of fire, then the spread uh, gets out of hand a little easier, so be aware of that. Now, for Axie, now this is one of the <laughs> best things about this gun, it is the highest, um, it has the highest accuracy for an AR, and it also has um, higher accuracy than most snipers in the game. Uh, see, as you can see, the spread got massive, I couldn't even hit my bullets on that guy, but anyways, uh, Hang on, so I'm trying to kill this guy. Anyways, um, yeah, like I said, accuracy yeah, well, I this gun has a 92 yeah, point Since it doesn't have that sniper scope, you can't really hit people from across um, maps, like behind side bags, like you can with the G36E. Oh, so, uh, there. be aware of that. Oh my god. Hey, sir, Perhaps, like... <laughs> now, anyways, on to recoil. Mother. This is also one of the downfalls to this gun. It has a 67 point recoil. And uh, even though you can tap fire it, you have to tap fire very slow just to control it, which is uh, really so bad, especially if you're in long range maps like this, because then, oh, yeah. then your then your um, opponents could just move away, and I get lotted in the face by picking up for 60. Yeah, so, so yeah. Just so you know what? The spread, the spread on this gun is so um, so. really bad too. Definitely one of the downfalls as well. Uh, the spread just gets huge after the few shots so uh be careful of that and that was actually a really nice headshot so yeah just be careful of the spread because it does get out of hand especially when you're scoped so uh wow well, i didn't know home with guy was like my basement would have to just be aware of that now um for modifications i really wouldn't put uh, well, actually i would put a scope um, and if it's up to you, it, um, put it in extended meg, cause this gun has massive spread and it's always nice to have that, um, extra clipping case run out of bullets, bullets of, because of missing. So extended meg 1 is also really good and that was also a really nice headshot. But yeah, um, extended meg 1, which I don't have on this gun, and a scope, which is useful, uh, in some cases. What was that? Now on um, to firing modes, this gun has two firing modes, it has automatic and wow that was a fail, but anyways it has um, automatic and it also has a double burst. Um, now you guys might be asking what the hell is double burst, and double burst um, is one of the newest firing modes in this game, uh, in fact the A94 is the only one that has it. Uh, I'll show you what I mean right now. If you look at my uh, bottom right screen, you can see that I got double mode on. Uh, it's actually very useful because then it like uh, limits your spread, but at the same time, uh, I don't really use it much. 
Uh, purely because I don't really like it. Uh, and the reason why I'm pretty sure Nexon gave it a double burst is because if they gave it like a burst three shot kill, a burst like a um, a three shot burst, and uh, as you can see, that's double burst kill right there. But anyways, um, if Nexon gave it like a three shot burst, then it'll be like instant death. So that's pretty cheap. So he decided to give it a double burst instead, which is understandable, I guess. Now on to my see I can't even oh kill God. that guy because of the recoil just gets out of hand. Yeah, yeah, attack extremely slow. Anyways, um on to the final words of the A ninety four. The A ninety four, um I don't recommend it. I mean there's much more better guns huh? out there. I would rather recommend the uh AK seventy four M which is way way watch. better than this gun in my opinion. Um it's much more easier to handle. Um it's just a better version of this gun pretty much. In my opinion, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so don't get it. I mean, if you want to try it, go for it. But I'm just saying right now that this gun sucks. Uh, there's really nothing special to it. So yeah. Now on to my. Ratings of the gun. I'll give this gun. Uh, yeah, I'll give this gun a seven out of ten. Really, because um, I don't really mind the AK. It's just specifically this gun that gets me mad because of the spread. It gets really bad, and um, the power does make up for it. But because of it, uh, this because but because of the power. Well, the power does make up for this spread, but you can't really use any power if the spread is extremely bad. So be aware of that, spread gets really bad, so, yeah. And the recoil is pretty crazy too, so, yeah. But if you are going to get this gun, um, just make sure you tap fire with it, and uh, make sure you burst too, because if you go full auto with this gun, then you're pretty much crazy. Uh, but anyways, um, this is, I'm going to end this review now. Uh, stay tuned for my next review. Uh, which should probably be a sniper. I, I don't know. I, I probably should do a sniper. I haven't done snipers yet. But it will either be a sniper or an SMG. So anyways. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, stay tuned. See, I'll see you guys later.